design template course walkthrough. This, com this video is here just to get you familiar with the new Ultra Course View template that we provided. This is the first of three options that we'll have for you, and we'll walk you through each option as you look at the video within the template that you are viewing. For this particular video, you are in Template Design 1, so this video details how you maneuver and get around in that particular template. So you'll know you're in the template design one because you've got these wonderfully beautiful people with their <laughs> number one index finger uh, saying, hey, we're number one. Welcome to, the, welcome to your template course. In particular, I wanna draw your immediate attention to a couple of things. A, we're in the ultra course view. So this will not look or act like the original course view. Hopefully, you have already attended one of our webinars on the ultra course view. If not, you can always sign up for one or watch one of our webinar recordings. So to get started, in each one of the template courses, we've actually put in a helpful little area that kind of walks you through the basics of everything you need to know to get started in Ultra Course View. And that is your Course How Toolkit. The Course How Toolkit is located at the top of your course content area. You will notice that it is currently hidden from students. But as this is a template course, there aren't any students in it per se, but we wanted to show you that you could technically keep that unit in your course if you wanted to and just keep it hidden. Uh, to open this particular learning module, you click on it to expand. And so I will scroll and click on the Course How Toolkit, and you will notice that the, the Course How Toolkit is divided into one, two, three, four units or course folders within the learning module. Were I to click on any one of these, they would expand and give me access to figuring out how to do the things that I need to do to be success successful as an instructor in an ultra course. For starters, how to add content, where I to click on it, opens up and walks the instructor through how to add the basic steps in adding content from the course document to uploading files to adding and embedding images. So clicking on document will take me to the page where I can actually learn about how I can add a document, watch a video, and then move on. So in this particular case, this one here tells me how I go about creating a document, and then I can watch the video. Next is adding to my document. If I click on the actual title, it opens up, and I can read more about adding to my document. I can learn about the, te the text editor, and what other features that I can add to my document besides just the text editor, how I can upload from the computer or cloud, or how I can actually uh, add an HTML feature like embedding a YouTube video without using the mashup or embedding a Vimeo video or, or any other uh, embeddable object that provides embed code for you. Uh, if you wanna learn more about documents, we provide a link here where you can go in and learn more about how to add documents inside your courses. Each of these areas contains the tools that will help you be successful. Communication tools, breaks down how to add announcements in your course, course messages, journals, discussions, and conversations. Adding graded activities, lets you know how you can, what a gradable activity is, how I can add a test, add an assignment, a discussion, and journals. Please note that these are just the basic activities that you can add. This does not include plugins like Kaltura video quizzes, voice thread assignments, Turnitin assignments, and publisher content. Those are also things that I can add as gradable activities. Below that is how I can navigate grading as an instructor, what the global grades page is, what the course gradebook looks like how I can have different views within the course gradebook. Beyond that, there will be links that will tell you how to get through every single one of those items. At the last part of the how to, the course how toolkit is the how to help uh, option. When I click on the how to help document, it brings me up to a page that actually links me to a bunch of different things. Uh, there's a wonderful little quick start guide that we actually even make available, uh, how to add content even down here in a, as a PDF, but you can link to it. Here's how you can create announcements, add a banner. Uh, it, it's kind of like a central place that's more of a general look at what we broke down step by step in the Course Out Toolkit. So if you want a quick access to one of these, you could easily get there. So that's the 
where I go to figure out how to start to maneuver and add and build in this particular template course. Now I want to talk to you about this, the way this template course does its course organization. Template course one is set up in such a way that it's going to start to look a little familiar, right? It has the course information and introduction, which has the syllabus, a virtual office discussion, and how to contact the support desk. This is in a folder. Later, we have what might seem a little familiar for you, and it's done that way on purpose. We've actually created it to semi-mimic what your original courses look like. You have a module, learning module. You open it, and inside of that, there's a nice little walkthrough on what a learning module is and how to maneuver within it, and then there are folders. The great news here is that when you create a learning module and you place folders within it, uh, and these folders are the modules themselves, module one, module two, module three, they inherit the ability of the linear navigation. What I mean by that is were I to click on my student preview, it would let me see my course as a student. I could then click on my modules and go to module one and start with the objectives. You'll see here that it's built out and designed with pre-content that you can actually edit and do things with. And this particular uh, thing shows you that there's an image in here. We've added a table with text, uh, text, a bulleted list, and some instructor notes about the document, again, to be contextual to help you out. As I continue through this process, you will see that another content example here shows you what a file attachment looks like, a bulleted list, and adding an image and then providing links, in this case, to SHSU's website and to SHSU Online's website, and more instructor notes at the end. These are just examples. Note, I'm moving through the, the module, the folder inside the module. Here we have some more examples of how you can embed a video, a table, more text, and another attachment. Which brings us to our first assignment. I can view that assignment and then add an attachment down here as a student. So each of these little areas, I'm gonna turn off my student preview. Each of these modules in here contains content and examples of how it would show up. In this particular organization, you'll notice that you have a modules, learning module, inside of it you have three folders. So all of your modules will show up inside the modules, learning module as folders. So one, two, three, and then you'd click down here on the plus to add your next one to create another folder called module four and so on. I hope this gets you a good start in getting ready to start to add content within your course design template course. If you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, you can always contact me, Jacob Spradlin, spradlin at shsu.edu, but reach out to your instructional designer or the support desk should you need. Thanks a lot and have a great day.